My guilt, state of corruption. No kidding. The last three days I've had my house surrounded by sheriffs with flak jackets on. What's the bet Mike Gill gets a bullet in the head for resisting arrest? Which I won't resist. So just so you know, this is the desperateness. This comes out of Judge Anderson's courtroom. Our last video, right? Gotcha. We do have them, and that's the desperateness of this. They need to shut down state of corruption in my company so I can't keep funding it. So you won't know what's going on. I told you the corruption in the clerk of courts. Well, it's all the way to the Supreme Court in the state. Now listen, you're going to see this 13 minutes with the clerk of courts, Eileen Fox. I'll put up a photo of her. The first clerk wouldn't give me her name. We filed an appeal. Mandatory Rule 7 appeal. Perfect. They wanted bank statements. Judge Anderson has an arrest warrant out for me saying we didn't give him bank statements. I even included the bank statements in the appeal. There is no mistake. They're going to turn around and, and say that they put it in as a supplement onto an older appeal. Yeah, to release Anderson back in April, which we still haven't heard. They're going to say, well, we don't have it. Now take a look at this. We just so happen we got a receipt. You're going to see this posted. And you're going to see the paid in full. You're going to see the count. But most importantly, don't lose this. New appeal. They're going to turn around and say, well, oh, it's a supplement to the old appeal. Meaning it's under a recusal. Well, it's not. This is the level of corruption. And this is the level of desperation. You have got to share this video. And I gotta dodge these bastards. But please watch this, Mike Gill. Well, who's telling you? Who's telling you that I have? Well, let me speak to the deputy clerk. Well, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who were you talking to that told you this? That was right there. So now you're saying she disappeared in the last minute? Well, why is she then making that decision if she doesn't know what? The... You're trying to help me. I've got three sheriffs around the house, all right, on an appeal that you people filed wrong and didn't recognize. So, so, and then you're telling me somebody's telling you that it has to be done this way and they won't get on the phone or you can't find them and you lost them in a minute. I am... decided to do it this way but but that I but you do recognize that it is an appeal and it is a separate item in this case right and that's exactly what you got with a 200 you acknowledged a 250 thousand dollar right it's docketed then it's an appeal do you recognize that it's the proper appeal paperwork don't make that decision. You have an appeal. There's an arrest warrant outstanding because the, the co what? Okay, what? Rude. All right. There's got to be someone in charge there. There's no other clerk here. Yes, please. Well, well, I've got a SWAT team around my house, so I hope it doesn't inconvenience you too much. So the person that told her a minute ago that he has to come in, suddenly he's not available, not at the desk. This was a plan. Another clerk of courts, corruption in this state. I'm talking about a fucking SWAT team. No shit, flat jack, it's the whole thing. The neighbors told me, because they were going around to each house trying to find out what my schedule was, where I was gonna be. And the appeal for this, they suddenly said, well, we filed it under a supplement. It's a separate appeal. Nine copies, a $250 check. They got it. They're working with Judge Anderson. Remember Anderson, the video that would put him in jail with the DRA? This is how desperate they are. They've got to stop me from talking to you.
See, here's the notice, right? Wiggins. Let's not forget, it's $275 for three weeks of, of, of Wiggins and Nori uh, for my divorce with the Dallas Sedgwick, who was only told me about the corruption and quit. Yes, man, let's hope so. I filed an appeal on, this is Michael Gill, on the Wiggins and Nori case. Now, I filed it about approximately last week. Now, there was an appeal in on another matter for a stay, which we haven't heard of, but this is clearly a second appeal. We paid the 250 we gave you the nine copies, we, we attached all the proper information. So in other words, they're not, you didn't recognize it as an appeal. You put it down as a supplement. All right. So I want it recognized immediately as the appeal that it is. Because I got a SWAT team around the house. Now this to me, it looks like it's being done criminally. No, 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 I'm not thinking it's a second appeal. It is a second appeal on a different, it, on a different issue. File something? I filed an appeal. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's two appeals in, miss. Can I have your name, by the way? Eileen Fox. Right, Eileen, you send this stuff all the time. So this is an appeal. I gave you the proper paperwork and did it exactly the way we're supposed to do it. So in other words, it's, it's the error. Then why, can you help me out and tell me why it's not recognized as an appeal? I did tell you there's a SWAT team around the house, right? So you can't do this and this is done improperly. There's, there's, a, there's three sheriff cars, and each sheriff has flak jackets on, right, around my house. And it's because you didn't recognize the appeal, because I did put it in, and I gave it to Hilliard, and I gave it to Brentwood Court, but your clerks didn't file it as an appeal, but a supplement to a past appeal. Now, of course it's clearly here. It is a separate appeal. Listen, if it wasn't a separate appeal, why would you take 250 from me? Why would I give you nine copies if it was a supplement? It's not a question. Look at the question. What's the question? We've got an appeal we just filed on a separate issue on the same case. Well, when you use the word quibble, you understand, again, there's a SWAT team. Do we understand that? So they're going to arrest me for something that you people filed improperly. All you have to do then to resolve this is look at the paperwork. It's clearly an appeal. It's clearly done properly. We paid the 250. So what's the problem? You'll look at it. Listen, while you're looking, I will be arrested or shot. Can you turn around? I mean, so, well, what? Well, wait a minute. It makes a big, big difference. See, there's, there's, we can resolve this. One is a, a recusal of a judge which was done months ago, sometime in April. So now we have it where they're saying that we didn't give them bank statements from People's and Citizens Bank. You can see in the appeal we gave them to the court and to the attorney Hildred, so they do have it. And in that appeal is a completely separate issue. And if you look at this notice, it's part of attached to an arrest warrant. So it's quite...
We will look at it. But wait a minute, you can see it right in front of you. There's no reason why not to acknowledge that you had it. You took the money for the appeal. You took the paperwork for the appeal. I mean, we're going to look at it isn't, isn't good enough. That's what we'll do. So you do see the appeal. You see, okay, let's, let's under, so you, you see that you received the appeal, right? And when did you receive it? Of course, the mandatory seven appeal. Isn't that an appeal? Now, you see that you all... We get a lot of paperwork that's not always done properly, but this paperwork is done properly. It'll be given a separate number. Really. In other words, <laughs> this is clearly that you can see that it is appeal. Would you you wouldn't pay take two fifty for a supplement, right? So you did do a knowledge that I paid the proper amount of money for an appeal. Well, wait a minute, wait. A minute. It's two hundred and fifty dollars for appeal. You've got the money. You've got the nine copies for the appeal. So in other words, it, it's a pretty simple matter. You received a pro. A separate appeal or not? Of course, it's a separate appeal. One's a recusal, and one's one's a issue with bank statements. How can they not be separate? How can they not be separate? A recusal of a judge. And failure to submit bank statements with a notice of arrest. So you can see. Well, it is the case, and it, sh and it should have been given a separate number. As you so in other words, it was the error in your clerk that turned around and didn't file it properly. Real simple. So it is the case. We, in other words, there's no recuse. There's no... There's no confusion between a recusal of an judge and bank statements that they didn't say say we delivered which we did and it's part of that appeal so in other words you can't be confused by the two issues is it that you're trying to get me arrested because this is an error on your end you can't resolve it on well when he uh, Who makes this decision? Do you make this decision, Eileen? Well, who makes that decision? Oh, the judge will. File something? I filed an appeal. I filed it properly. You people didn't register it properly, and it was done intentionally. That's what this was done. This thing, it, you're giving me an explanation that's, that's, that's hogwash. You've got an appeal, and it's done properly, and it's done on a dis uh, regarding a decision of contempt in court on six seven seventeen with Judge Anderson. It, and it's clear, and that you see that order, and you see the the appeal attached to that order. You can't tell me there's a confusion about a recusal of a judge months ago, which we haven't heard from, and a and and a and an appeal of the decision on an arrest warrant for bank statements that they have. We, what's the decision to be made? Well, I'm going to put this on the internet and I'm going to have four million people hear this. All right? It'll be out today. And I'm going to file corrupt... I'm going to be filing the, uh, charges with the Department of Justice in Washington. This isn't the only piece I have with the corruption in the clerk of courts. And the, and, and the superior court. This is exactly what this is. And listen, I have the information to verify it. That's going to be one hell of an explanation you're going to have to give. Oh, really? Well, <laughs> well, we'll be up today with the camera. All right. Unbelievable. 